What's up guys, GeoSnow right here. So in today's video we're going to discuss again about iOS downgrades and especially about iOS blobs saving using a new version of Ticketbox. Now um, in my previous videos I have shown you how to save the uh, tickets and why you should save the tickets for downgrading. Now if you didn't see this video from here uh, it's very important to see it because it might give you the ability to downgrade without having a jailbreak using iOS 10.3 beta because it still creates collisions. If you don't know what the known collisions are, you can either see Team Star's video uh, somewhere on his channel, I'm going to link it down below in the description as a reference, or one of my videos in which I talked about it. But in order to be able to work with that thing and also to be able to restore to a jailbreakable firmware in the future, you would need to be able to, to have the, uh, the blobs saved at first. Well, there are a couple of methods you can use. And in my previous videos, I uh, demonstrated a TSS checker, which is the most recommended one, but unfortunately it's command line and can pose serious issues on some users. Then is TSS saver, created by one Canon, using kind of the same method that you can use online, but some people had problems using the website and then you have um, an application created by this guy on Twitter. If you want, you can follow him up. It's called Ticketbox and it was updated on February 7, but there have been quite a few problems with the application, quite a few bugs. And so we uh, waited to see if it's stable or not. And it is now. Now the version that I um, used to have in here was the uh, version 4.x, yes, 4.2. Now the newest version is 5. And of course, it's updated and works better. It has improvements, it has a lot of fixes. So let's continue. I connected my uh, device in here and you probably know the procedure already. I'm going to request S uh, SHSH and it will save them. Now, why is not recommended to always use only this method? Uh, normally, the TSS checker and ticket box save in the same format, SHSH2. But the... Uh, the blobs saved with TSS Checker have a generator. I, I don't know if now uh, the uh, offer of this application has created the application so that it saves the generator, but that generator is important, the nonce generator is important when you're trying to downgrade using the jailbreak method with nonce enabler. If you're not planning to um, to use the nonce enabler in a jailbroken device, then going from iOS 10.3 to iOS 10.2, for example, would require nonce collisions. And for nonce collisions, you can have bloops saved with anything you want that saves in SHSH2 format, being it ticket box, being it um, the uh, TSS checker, the official uh, application from Timstar, and also the um, TSS saver. Now, something to keep in mind, TSS um, checker, and uh, TSS Saver from one Canon required you to have that board code. We talked about this in my previous videos in how to find the board code. Um, I think I have a video on my channel. I'm going to link it down below in the description. Let me see. Uh, yes, this one right here, you can see it on the right. iOS 10.2.1, downgrade, save SHSH2 with board configuration. And um, it's required for iPhone 6S and so on. So I'm going to show you if I select iPhone and 6S, S, you're going to see that now it asks me for that uh, board code. And that is important because it is um, part of the blob. Not all devices require that and TSS um, Saver, I think TSS Saver and TSS Checker require them to be introduced manually, but uh, Ticketbox might get them automatically. Because uh, let me try to open it to show you. What I want to prove here is that uh, Ticketbox is also a reliable application, but shouldn't be used alone, just in case. Uh, you can see in here it has the build, it has the iOS version, ACID, mm, yes. So uh, normally you should be able to get the uh, information about the device, but these devices do not require the board code. You can though create a device, and uh, it says a model in here, and you can insert the board code yourself if you want to create your own device. and. Um, introduce the ACID. This is for example if you want to to save the bloops for a device that is not connected for the moment you can uh, write for example its code N71AP um, 
and I'm going to write iPhone um, 6s for example and the AC ID I'm going to just copy something from here I can't uh, I'm going to write something randomly do not do that and you will be able to try to save it automatically and request SHSH and you're going to get the bloops for your own uh, device even if it's not connected so you can see I got the bloops of course these bloops will not be useful because the AC ID is random but if you don't have the device with you or you don't want to connect it to the computer, you can still save using Ticketbox and the ACID of the device, they blobs for later. Uh, why is it important to save them? Well, again, if you want to be able to downgrade in the future to a uh, firmware that can be jailbroken, you need to have the blobs saved. No matter if you're using the jailbreak method with nonce enabler or you're using the nonce collisions that I demoed in here, and it's also demoed by Teamstar, you need the bloops. Without the bloops, you're not able to downgrade. And you want to save iOS 10.2.1's blobs because if you don't save them, you're going to get into iOS 10.3 ground. And iOS 10.3 changes the, um, the file system format to APFS, which might pose serious threats in the future for jailbreaking. This is basically it, guys. If you want, you can follow up the... Um, the links to get ticket box in the description down below and do not forget to always keep the app updated in order to prevent any kind of um, I don't know bloops damage and so on because the previous version had a problem and it's better to keep it updated peace out